All right, yeah, this is another of Martin's PayPal requests. Transylvanian hunger. And looking by the picture, I was right. Just by looking at that, I was thinking that's got to be about vampires. And the band's Dark Thrones, even though it doesn't say it on there. But that's what the band's called. Transylvanian hunger from Dark Throne. Yeah, let's go. Hold on, to be fair, this sounds more like werewolves than Dracula or vampires, to be fair. That growling sounds way. Who was the first person to growl like that, though? Because Opeth do it, um, and obviously a lot of metal people do it. But where did that come from? Who was the first person to do that on record? Um, but also, again, this doesn't... All right, yeah, you've got the growl which makes it metal or like that type. But again, musically, it's melodic. It's it's more like punk, the back into it. Then, yeah, then, yeah. But then you've got the growl. Like I say, the werewolf growl more. It sounds like a werewolf mid-change. <laughs>
I can definitely see, <clears throat> it's always baffled me. When I was into dance music, and not for long was I in for it, but a lot of the people are not the people that you'd imagine that would be into drum and bass. Like, people think it's kind of, yeah, like a like a thug thing. But the most people that you're going to find there are heavy metal, like, grunge-dressed people, do you know what I mean? Like, of that type of ilk. But I can see the crossover between them two genres of music with it. It's a very, like, almost hypnotic, almost like, yeah... The, well, with this one anyway, the repetitiveness is is of the backing, and again it's so melodic still, very melodic, and the guitar didn't sound like um what I'd imagine either. Like I say, there was more of a punk punk thing to that, but it made me think of what's that film. Where it's set in, it's, I think it's vampires in that, and it's it's set in like Alaska, like is it? It's set in the snow, and I'm sure it's vampires, but I can't think what it's called. But it sounded like that. I, it, I'd be surprised if this isn't even on that thing because it's that type of music. I'm sure. Is it 30 Days of Night? Let me see. Because that's going to annoy me. That's what it was making me think of the whole time, that movie. Um, yeah, it's got to be. An Alaskan town experiences darkness for a month. Good film, that is. But that's what it made me think of. Because that has proper epic type of metal music in it. Yeah, definitely made me think of horror film. And that one specifically. Yeah, definitely evil, no, definitely evil. But again, it's not what, like, it's really not what I would have expected. But I suppose it's metal. It's like saying metal is a very broad um, generalization of a lot of different music, really. But again, it's not what I would have expected to, to like, if we're going down this road now on the channel. It's not what I have expected. Maybe vocally, but musically, not so much. Because there is a tune there. And also, the, like I say, the guitar sound, the sounding of how the guitar was set up is not what I'd imagine metal either. It, like I say, it was more of a punk. It had more of that type of guitar sound. Like a, um, yeah. But a mad tune, though. That is a mad tune. Mad joke. Transylvanian hunger. But like I say, other than it reminded me of that film, 30 Days of Night, which I recommend to people. It's such a great thing. Such a great film. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Crazy track. Crazy track. God knows what he was saying as well. I feel like I've just had a like evil curse put on me or something. Like that is what would that's the type of song that if you played in a graveyard, do you know what I mean? All the graves would start rumbling and it'll start raising the dead. That was that type of song. So evil as well. But yeah, anyway. That's the reaction.